right, so here in Singapore, we have an aquarium. It's huge, like biggest aquarium in Southeast Asia, big. With a home to three beautiful and majestic manta rays and home to more than 100,000 marine animals of over 1,000 species across 45 different habitats. And this aquarium is called Sea Aquarium. Now, I recently only found out that you could actually learn how to dive and get certified like Paddy certified at this very aquarium and that is pretty damn cool. So I've been snorkeling for as long as I can remember and you know, I enjoy it, I'm very comfortable with it and I never really had that urgent desire to learn how to dive even though it has been at the back of my mind and right now again, we can't travel so I thought to myself, it would be a good time to pick up a new skill and better more learn how to dive in a freaking aquarium and whew, let's do this. Oh my god, I'm like nervous. <laughs> yo, 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 yo! What is up? Hey, what's up, man? What's up, Bernard? Yo, yo, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm nervous, man. Like, excited! Yeah, like, like snorkeling is like for fun. You don't really need to think about anything, but. Yo! Serious shit, man. Diving is serious shit. Anything can happen. And we have Bernard, who is an experienced diver. Any tips for us not to dive? Try not to float. <laughs> Try not to float. Yeah, you'll, you'll be surprised. Don't, don't start floating up too much. <laughs> like, you know dive halfway people, usually when they panic, yeah. or when they're tired, they start floating. Yeah. So they, they call it the float away. So Ooh. hopefully you guys stay at, the, <laughs> stay at depth. <laughs> Float away! <laughs> Useful tip, man. Oh my god. Don't know what I expect, but oh, I'm pumped. I can. Nice to meet you. Ready for your class today? Uh, kind of. <laughs> so if you're not sure, tell me, and we'll do it again until you're comfortable. Breathe continuously and never hold your breath. Yes. Let's do it. So we started to be hands-on with our dive equipment and I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty overwhelming. Um, it took me really quite a while to be familiarized with all of the dive equipment because it was really a lot to know and remember. Going into the water, our first confined dive. Oh, it's so hot, it's so heavy. <laughs> I mean, even in the aquarium, not inside the tank, it's whew, magical, magical. Oh my god, tree! GoPro, it just got busted, all right? The power on button just got really worn out and created a hole in the GoPro and water started leaking into the GoPro. And it's fried, it's busted, it's gone. And <laughs> what's new, right? Um, but anyways, yeah, day one, didn't do anything crazy, but it was still really fun. And we basically covered all of the basics of diving, emergency situations and hand signs. And so um, very, very basic, but necessary training to make sure that we are being comfortable to dive deeper and breathing through the regulator. I'm like wiped out right now. I'm gonna crash. I'll see you tomorrow.
Right, Ken, where are we going right now? We are going to the open ocean, ocean habitat. habitat, which is, is that where the manta ray is like it's yeah. we a got, big thing. We got three manta rays there. Whoa. Are you excited? <laughs> it's okay, if you didn't know it, like it's my dream to like swim in manta rays, like sea turtles and manta rays. And now I'm getting a chance to swim. Dream starts now. <laughs> Oh. <gasps> so it's going to be like the giant tank where you see all the manta rays and all the fishes. They are also sharks, right? Yes. Sharks. Everything. Jungkook, are you excited? <laughs> Nervous, huh? <laughs> Bernard, the moment I've been waiting for is finally here. Oh. First time in an aquarium, right? Yes, never yeah. seen before footage. Everyone's first time diving in an aquarium. Full of fishes, don't even need to find it. The fish is so, it's a bit of a cheap code, but this whole area is actually the layout for open ocean habitat. You will see from three meter area, you will see the dome. Right? Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Are you confident? Yes. Can yeah. you collide? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like in some NDU, you know, naval diving unit. We are going for our first open water dive in the aquarium. Oh my god, look at the stingray. Oh, wow! Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> oh my god, I'm like nervous. I'm like a bit nervous. I, I, uh, I don't know, I don't know. It was definitely surreal to finally be able to dive into this huge tank full of fishes and manta rays but at the same time I was just really focused on trying to improve my diving techniques just trying to be you know in control of my buoyancy not trying to sink or float too much so there was a lot of things going through in my mind and I would say honestly I wasn't able to fully soak up the entire experience but I guess that is for day three. So just a huge thanks to Camera Rental Center for loaning us this underwater housing which is super expensive. Definitely cannot afford this housing. We're gonna get really beautiful shots because we can put our mirrorless cameras inside. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the shots. Bernard will be handling this because I'm just not good enough. But yeah, thank you so much Camera Rental Center. Let's capture some amazing footage underwater. And I guess this is where the magic happens. I finally achieved my dream of swimming with manta rays. It felt like we were just floating around in space with all of these beautiful and magnificent marine creatures just floating with us.
And it was such a weird yet amazing feeling to be on the other side of the glass, saying hi and waving to kids. It was just a crazy feeling to be doing this. And with this experience, it kind of reminded me that we should always strive to keep our oceans clean and conserve it as much as possible so that, you know, these beautiful marine animals can continue to thrive and just live freely in the underwater world. Congratulations, you, Thank did, you. you did well today. Welcome to the diving world. Woo! Divers. Open water diver. Woo! Congrats. Thank you. Yes. See you again yes. Yes. on your advance, right? Yes. Advance, advance. <laughs> <laughs> so we are officially certified divers. Yes, yes. open Ooh. water divers. Oh. Congrats, everyone. <laughs> let's go, man. Let's, let's start. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Ken, what's the difference between um, learning diving in an aquarium versus learning in the actual sea itself because yeah. like I have friends like we say like oh you know you learn an aquarium you don't experience like the currents and yeah. the different, different kind of variability in the sea itself so yeah. it's like you, you won't feel that prepared so like will I be prepared? Okay, uh, learning in the aquarium is actually quite different because here in the aquarium it's a controlled environment so getting to be more comfortable and to boost your comfortable level it's mm. quite faster than I teach outside. Outside right. there's a lot of waves uh, that distracts the, the, the students. Right. But here it's a controlled environment and then uh, it makes the students more comfortable very fast. That's, right. that's how I see it as teaching here in the aquarium. Skills wise is all the same. Yeah. So skill standards, skills in paddy and most of the diving mm. associations are actually all the same. The standards right. is there. Right. Even though you're learning it from the aquarium and from the open water, it's right. the same. 